I'll introduce to you a candidate for CD1, Jonathan Payton. Yes, Are you guys fired up? Yeah. Are you fired up? Yeah. Today is the day that we take our country back. That's why we're here today. Is that not right? Yeah. I want to, uh, before we get started, I want to say hello to a couple special people. We've got some Democratic trackers over here. I want to make sure that uh, we, we greet them. Can you all hear me all right? Yeah. Not long ago, I was uh, serving in the Army, and I met a, an officer from the Dutch Army. And he told me something, an interesting difference between America and Europe. And he said that Europe kind of evolved over the centuries. It got more and more progressive over the centuries. And he said that we in Europe are the children of evolution. He said the difference is, is that you in America, you are the children of the revolution. And that's exactly who we are. We are children of that revolution that started in 1776. I'm reminded of a story because we know that our forefathers are watching us even to this day and in this election and this fight that we have before us. There's an old story about a coach named Lou Little. He was one of the greatest football coaches of all time. He, he coached for Columbia University. And he had a, uh, a young player on his team by the name of Dennis Flaherty. And Dennis used to scrimmage with the team every, every week and he brought an older man with him in the audience, in the stands. And one day they had a big game. It was a game against Holy Cross, their biggest rival. And Dennis Flaherty went up to Lou Little and he said, Coach, let me play the first five minutes. And the coach said, you're too small. He said, you play your heart out in the scrimmages and that's why we let you play at the end of the game when, when it really doesn't matter anymore. And he said, Coach, let me in. Let me start. If I don't do everything an end should do at the end of five minutes, you can pull me out. Well, Dennis Flaherty stayed all four quarters. He went through the whole game. He sacked the quarterback three times. He blocked two kicks. He intercepted a pass, and he scored a touchdown. And at the end of the game, Coach Little said, Dennis, how did you know you had that kind of a game in you? And Dennis Flaherty said, that man that comes with me every week, that's my dad. And he's blind. Last night, my dad died of a heart attack. And so tonight was the first night he could actually watch me play. Aww. Our forefathers are watching us today and what we do. They see what's happening in this country. They see what has happened to our Constitution. We have to succeed as a nation because we are at a crossroads, ladies and gentlemen. We can continue going down the path we're going, and we can turn out like Europe, or we can go down the path that was preordained for us to be a special nation in the world of nations. We can go down that path, but we have to make it count in this last 40-something days of this election. I can tell you this, if Noah could last 40 days and 40 nights in the flood, we can wait out this president for the next 40-something days. I can tell you that. They promised us many things, ladies and gentlemen. They promised us that they were going to give us health care. Instead, they gave us health care rationing. They promised that they were going to build up our name in the Middle East. Instead, they failed to secure our diplomats. They promised that they were going to secure our border. Instead, they sued our state. These issues have become a scandal in this country. And it is a scandal that has become a cause. A cause that has become a movement and a movement, you mark my words, on the first Tuesday in November will shake the very foundations in Washington, D.C. like we have not seen in a generation. But I've got news for you. The Democratic Party is not at fault. 
that even the president isn't at fault, even my opponent isn't at fault. What's at fault and what we fight against, the scriptures tell us, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the dark leaders of this world. It is not a person that we're fighting against, it is an idea. It is an idea that we fought against, against communism. It's an idea that we fought against, against fascism. It is the idea that our liberties come from the government and not from God himself. That is what we're fighting against today. My question to you is, are we going to allow them to continue raising our taxes, or are we going to fight? Are we going to allow them to continue spending this country into debt, or are we going to fight? Are we going to allow them to take away our liberties, or are we going to fight? We will fight for our liberties, we will fight for our families, and we will fight for our future. We will fight. We will fight. We will fight. I'm Jonathan Payton. I'm running for Congress. I'm asking for your vote. Talk to the people who have the clipboards. Take this country back. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jonathan.